So in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the new features of Civil 3D 2020.1. And I kind of like this one because it now gives us the ability to export feature lines through XML files. So first thing I'm going to show you, if I go to the Output tab and I go to Export Land XML, uh, one of the things that we have not been able to do in the past is take and export our feature lines. But as you can see right here in the export dialog box, feature lines is an option. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Uh, next, I'm going to go into the edit export settings, show you what we have here. Feature line export settings. We'll go here. And one of the options that we can do is tell it to give feature lines that are unnamed a name. So if I turn this on, I could go in and I could edit the name template uh, if that's what I want to do. So that's kind of cool. All right, so we can get feature lines exported out. Uh, obviously, from there, uh, we have some uh, other options as well. And those options are going to be if we go to the Insert tab and go to Land XML. Uh, and let's say I grab this XML file. Uh, obviously, one thing you're going to notice is feature lines. So we can import the feature lines. But we've also got some settings here that we can take care of as well. Notice the alignment site. Uh, right next to that is the feature line site. Uh, so if we go into the Edit uh, Import settings uh, dialog box you can see feature line import settings import feature lines on site uh, you have a choice of site in the source file or site specified in the import land xml so let's take a look at this a little bit closer if you take a look with the default settings uh, feature line site is set to none and it's grayed out but if i go in here and I change this to site specified in the import dialog box and then say OK. Now I can actually tell it what site I want it to go to. So that's what it looks like for the new features for importing and exporting of feature lines through XML. One note I wanted to call out about this uh, is that the Autodesk help file for the new features indicates that feature lines can't be exported to Land XML directly from an alignment or a corridor. corridor. They have to be created from the objects first before they can be imported or, or I should say before they can be exported out. So keep that in mind, your alignments and corridor feature lines that are tied to those objects, they have to be created before they can be exported out. So keep that in mind. But uh, one thing I call out in the blog about this, that I, I see this as a useful function, is if you ever have a bunch of feature lines in your drawing and they start misbehaving or they start getting corrupted, rather than having to recreate them, you could try to export them out to an XML file then bring them back in and see if that takes care of it. But anyways, that's about it for that feature with 2020.1. Hope you find some good use out of it.